Archaeologists have been trying to unravel the secrets of mankind's history for a long time. And as we continue to dig deeper, literally and figuratively, intriguing discoveries continuously make us question just how much we truly understand about human history. From dwarf-like human ancestors to a prehistoric human with a living modern descendant, here are 20 impossible fossils that could ultimately rewrite human history. Number 20. The Hobbits Would you believe there were human species that lived between 60,000 and 100,000 years ago that were the height of small hobbits? Sounds impossible, so researchers were baffled when they discovered such a small human ancestor, Homo floresiensis. These beings lived on the Indonesian island of Flores, particularly in the confines of the Liang Bois cave, and their fossils were only discovered in 2003. You see, this human ancestor was incredible because of their size. This species had a brain size similar to early hominins, yet it exhibited advanced tools and behaviors. These small human ancestors were something scientists never knew existed. Historically, experts believed Homo sapiens were unique in their journey out of Africa. Yet, the presence of Homo floresiensis in Southeast Asia suggests that multiple hominin species ventured far beyond the African continent. Standing just over one meter tall, they had a brain roughly the size of a chimpanzee's. And yet, despite their small cranial capacity, evidence indicates they made tools, hunted, and used fire. This challenges the long-standing notion that bigger brains necessarily correlate with advanced behaviors. But why exactly were these human ancestors so small when other human species at the time were already closer to the height of modern humans? Well, scientists think the answer lies in the cave itself. After all, other creatures in the cave were noticeably smaller than other similar species at the time. Some theories suggest that living on an island with limited resources might have led to a phenomenon called island dwarfism. Over generations, smaller individuals needing fewer resources might have had survival advantages, leading to a population of smaller hominins. Luckily, modern humans are much taller than this species. Can you imagine how well humans could fare in the world if we didn't grow more than four feet tall? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Poor Dinosaur That Keeps Getting Framed The Oviraptor is one of the most recognized dinosaur fossils, but all for the wrong reasons. This creature, whose name literally means egg thief, has been the subject of much debate and misunderstanding. When the first Oviraptor fossil was discovered in 1923, it was found near a nest of what were believed to be protoceratops eggs. This led to the assumption that the oviraptor was attempting to steal these eggs, hence its name. However, more recent research revealed that their names and their prior bad rap just might not be accurate. Recent findings suggest that the eggs found near the oviraptor weren't protoceratops eggs at all. Instead, they were likely oviraptor eggs. This means that this alleged egg thief might have been wrongly accused. It's possible that the oviraptor was simply a caring parent protecting its nest. The Oviraptor's physical features further support this theory. With a beak-like mouth and no teeth, it's unlikely that it was an egg predator. Instead, it might have used its beak to crack open hard seeds and crush small prey. Now consider how many other misconceptions we might have made. There's a strong possibility that something we believe to be completely understandable still conceals numerous mysteries. Number 18. An Ancient Spark Plug the spark plug was invented in 1860 by Belgian-French engineer Etienne Lenoir, or at least, that's who history gives credit to. However, this artifact contradicts this. At first glance, the Koso artifact looks ordinary. It seems like an ordinary geode, a naturally occurring rock formation. However, upon closer inspection, it looked like something else, a spark plug. It was discovered on February 13, 1961 by Wallace Lane, Virginia Maxey, and Mike Mikesell. Now, the geode surrounding this ancient spark plug is estimated to be a staggering 500,000 years old. This means that a spark plug existed far earlier than we thought. Naturally, this discovery prompted a lot of theories. Some proposed that it was evidence of ancient advanced civilizations, while others believed it might be proof of time travel. After all, how could a spark plug exist before the late 1800s? Well, some believe that the spark plug was real, but it wasn't created more than 500,000 years ago. Instead, it was a spark plug created in the 1900s. 
It just so happened that it became enclosed in a very old geode. Today, the Koso artifact is nothing more than a hoax. However, some people continue to swear by it. Number 17. 250 million year old marine reptile. Now, here's another dino fossil that has long intrigued researchers. Earlier this year, a group of Swedish and Norwegian paleontologists found the oldest ichthyosaur fossil in the Arctic's Norwegian island of Spitsbergen. So, what's so special about this discovery, aside from the fact that it's one of the oldest dino fossils? Well, these fossils revealed that these fish-like reptiles had been around even before a massive extinction event happened about 252 million years ago. You see, we initially believed that these creatures learned how to swim after the big extinction happened. However, this new discovery revealed that the ichthyosaur sought refuge in the water more than 20 million years before the extinction occurred. Moreover, some research shows that ichthyosaurs could grow as long as 70 feet, putting them in the same league as our largest whales today. But until this recent discovery, we were mostly in the dark about where they came from. This is plenty of information already, but there's still much more to learn about these creatures. Number 16. Hallucigenia The fossil of Hallucigenia was found in the Burgess Shale in Canada, and since then, this ancient creature has left scientists scratching their heads for decades. Hallucigenia, as its name suggests, looks like something out of a dream, or perhaps a nightmare. With its long, spindly body, multiple pairs of legs, and an array of tentacle-like structures, it's no wonder it's often described as one of the strangest fossils ever found. Initially, researchers were so baffled by its appearance that they couldn't determine which end was the head and which was the tail. We're beginning to understand it more now. However, this still remains one of the most bizarre fossils discovered, showing us that there are a lot more things we have yet to learn about our planet. Number 15. A Human Neanderthal Hybrid In 1998, in the Lepedo Valley of Portugal, archaeologists uncovered the remains of a child dating back approximately 24,000 years. This fossil became known as the Lepedo Child, and it's been particularly interesting to researchers since its discovery. You see, this fossil has several curious features. While the child's skeleton largely resembles anatomically modern humans, certain aspects, especially in the jaw and teeth, suggest some Neanderthal characteristics. This has led to discussions among scientists about the possibility of the Lepedo child being a hybrid, indicating interbreeding between Neanderthals and anatomically modern humans. The discovery of the Lepedo child adds to a growing body of evidence, alluding to the fact that modern humans and Neanderthals did not live in complete isolation from one another. Instead, they all interacted with one another. Initially, this idea was disputed by many. However, more and more evidence supports the idea that many modern humans outside of Africa carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA. This means that, yes, Neanderthals and the closest species to modern humans did mate with one another. Quite unexpected, huh? Number 14. Million Year Eggs In 2011, a peculiar fossil was found on Seymour Island near Antarctica, resembling a deflated football. This 68-million-year-old find was later identified as the second-largest egg ever recorded, potentially laid by a massive marine reptile from the dinosaur era. The fossilized egg measured 29 by 20 centimeters, just a tad smaller than the eggs of the giant elephant birds from Madagascar, which became extinct only a few centuries ago. Unlike the hard-shelled eggs of birds, crocodilians, and many dinosaurs, this Antarctic egg had a soft, parchment-like shell. The egg fossil discovered is the first-ever fossil egg from Antarctica and the largest soft-shelled egg ever found. Experts likened its appearance to a deflated football with a flattened side, suggesting it had rested on the seafloor. Its thin, minimally mineralized shell was reminiscent of lizard and snake eggs. Given the size of the egg, the only creatures in Antarctica capable of producing such an egg were the marine reptiles Mosasaurs and Plesiosaurs. This discovery challenged the previously held belief that these creatures didn't lay eggs and instead gave birth to live offspring. However, experts theorized that these reptiles might have had a reproductive strategy similar to certain lizards and snakes today, laying thin-shelled eggs that hatch shortly after being laid. While the egg didn't contain any embryonic remains and the mother's skeleton wasn't found, Potential candidates for the egg layer include mosasaurs that grew up to 15 meters and plesiosaurs that reached 10 meters in length. Both these marine reptiles, 
along with the dinosaurs, went extinct 66 million years ago after an asteroid impact. Number 13. When did the first humans reach and settle down in the Americas? The question of when humans first set foot in the Americas has long been a topic of debate among historians and archaeologists. Laco, an archaeological site in Mexico, recently revealed evidence that might finally give us an answer. Discovered in the 1960s, Laco presented artifacts that, according to some dating methods, suggested a human presence in the region up to 250,000 years ago. The claim was staggering, as it dramatically predates the world's accepted timeline of human migration to the Americas around 15,000 years ago. Critics argue that the dating methods used at Huayatlaco were flawed, leading to inaccurate results. Supporters, on the other hand, believe that the findings could rewrite our understanding of early human migration patterns. Number 12. Piltdown Man Discovered in 1912 in Sussex, England, the Piltdown Man was once hailed as the missing link between apes and humans. The combination of a human-like cranium and an ape-like jaw seemed to fit perfectly into the evolutionary narrative at the time. For decades, the Piltdown Man was celebrated as a significant piece in the puzzle of human evolution. However, as more advanced dating techniques and analytical methods emerged, doubts began to surface. Advanced testing in the 1950s revealed that the Piltdown Man was nothing but a hoax. The skull, which appeared human, and the jaw, which seemed ape-like, were from separate species. To make matters worse, they had been tampered with to appear ancient. This fossil could have completely rewritten the history of mankind. Still, this artifact showed us just how easy it is to fabricate something. Now think about the possibility that many other beliefs we hold could be false, given how effortlessly this artifact showcased the potential for deception. Number 11. Horseshoe Crab Brain in many instances, experts invest years meticulously studying rocks with the aspiration of revealing hidden fossils. But with this discovery, it seems like it revealed itself naturally. In 2021, a horseshoe crab fossil cracked open naturally, and within it was a perfect brain specimen, giving us much-needed information about their evolution and development. The fossil broke in just the right manner, revealing the ancient arthropod's central nervous system. This is something impressive, since brains, like all soft tissues, are notably challenging to preserve. Discovering such a detailed specimen purely by luck is an incredibly rare event. This fossilized brain bears a striking resemblance to the brains of today's horseshoe crabs. Although they're called horseshoe crabs, these creatures aren't true crabs. Instead, they're closely related to scorpions, spiders, and mites, with their evolutionary history dating back about 480 million years. This similar brain provides insights into the evolution of these arthropods. Moreover, the unique preservation of this brain might guide archaeologists to new locations where elusive soft tissue fossils could be found. Horseshoe crabs boast a fossil record that spans approximately 445 million years. While having an extensive fossil record is noteworthy, soft tissue fossils for many creatures, including these crabs, are rare. This rarity is because soft tissues usually degrade faster than they can fossilize. The preservation of intricate structures like a brain in rock is exceedingly uncommon. Number 10. Helicoprian Now, people might not be familiar with this species, Helicoprian. This creature was an extinct genus of shark-like fish that swam in our oceans around 290 million years ago during the Permian period. What sets Helicoprian apart from other ancient sea creatures is its bizarre spiral-shaped tooth whorl. This unique feature has puzzled scientists for years. When the first fossils of Helicoprian were discovered in the late 19th century, they puzzled scientists. The fossils mainly consisted of the tooth whorl, and without a complete skeleton, researchers were left scratching their heads. How did this structure fit into the animal? Some early theories even suggested it might be a defensive tail spine or a specialized crushing mechanism. It wasn't until recently that scientists began to understand this creature a little better. The spiral tooth whorl was in fact part of the lower jaw. As Helicoprian grew, older teeth were pushed out and formed a spiral, while newer, sharper teeth appeared at the front. Like many sharks, Helicoprian had a cartilaginous skeleton. Cartilage doesn't fossilize as well as bone making it less likely to be preserved over millions of years. In future discoveries, we might get to learn more about these creatures. Number 9. Kennewick Man In 1996, on a sweltering summer day, fossils were discovered along the banks of the Columbia River in Washington State. 
a discovery that would ignite debates, challenging our understanding of prehistoric America and become one of the most controversial skeletons ever found, the Kennewick Man. The Kennewick Man, sometimes referred to as the Ancient One, is a nearly complete skeleton of a prehistoric person. Radiocarbon dating places him at around 9,000 years old, but what makes this discovery so intriguing isn't just its age, but the mysteries that surround it. Upon initial examination, something was bizarre. The Kennewick Man's skull had features that didn't quite align with what researchers expected from Native American ancestors. Instead, some of his features seem more consistent with Polynesian or even European populations. This raised a perplexing question. Who was the Kennewick Man, and where did he come from? It wasn't until 2015 that we learned the answer. Genetic analysis revealed that the Kennewick Man is more closely related to modern Native Americans than any other population worldwide. This finding supported the claims of the Native American tribes and provided a clearer picture of the people of the Americas. Number 8. The Black Skull In Africa, a unique hominid walked the earth, leaving behind a relic that would come to be known as the Black Skull. Paranthropus aethiopicus, a lesser-known member of our extended family tree, roamed East Africa roughly 2.5 million years ago. But it wasn't until the 1980s that this species became known in the world of paleoanthropology, thanks to a discovery. You see, this species had a robust cranial structure with a prominent sagittal crest on top, indicating strong jaw muscles. This suggests a diet that required significant chewing, possibly hard or fibrous plants. Experts believe that this species provides a link between earlier hominins and the later, more well-known Paranthropus species. Its features are somewhat primitive, making it a crucial piece in understanding hominin evolution in Africa. Number 7. Nebraska Man In the early 20th century, amidst the excitement of discovering ancient hominins, a single tooth found in Nebraska captured the attention of researchers all around the globe. This tooth would lead to one of the most infamous misinterpretations in the history of paleoanthropology. In 1922, geologist Harold Cook uncovered a molar in the Pliocene deposits of Nebraska. The tooth, with its unique features, was quickly deemed to belong to an ancient hominin. Eager to place a human ancestor in North America, the scientific community named it Hesperopithecus Harold Cookii, or more popularly, the Nebraska Man. The discovery was not just a scientific sensation, but a media one as well. Illustrations began to emerge, painting a picture of the Nebraska man and his environment. Based on just a single tooth, artists and the media conjured a whole individual, complete with tools and a primitive lifestyle. To this day, much about the Nebraska man remains debated by many. However, more and more people have grown skeptical about this discovery. Number 6. Java Man in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the quest to uncover the origins of humanity was in full swing. It was during this period of fervent exploration that Eugene Dubois, a Dutch anatomist, set out for the East Indies, driven by a passion to find the elusive missing link between apes and humans. In the 1890s, on the banks of the Solo River in Java, Dubois hit the jackpot. He and his team unearthed a skull cap, a thigh bone, and a few teeth. Now, to the untrained eye, these might just seem like old bones, but to Dubois, they were gold. He believed he'd found a new species, which he named Pithecanthropus erectus. Today, we know it as Homo erectus. But what makes Java Man so unique? Why isn't he just another old skeleton in a museum? You see, before Java Man, the consensus was that early human ancestors were mostly hanging out in Africa. Java Man shook things up by suggesting our ancient relatives traveled and settled in far-off places way earlier than we thought. The Java Man was a bit of a blend. He had a brain size in between that of modern humans and earlier hominins. His skull had a mix of both primitive and more advanced features. This combination of characteristics made him a crucial piece in the puzzle of human evolution. However, the association of the thigh bone, which suggested upright walking with the skull cap, was hotly debated. Some folks believe they belong to different species, and to this day, much about the Java Man remains debated. Number 5. Longisquama In the heart of Kyrgyzstan, nestled among the rugged landscapes, lies a fossil site that has given us a glimpse of the past. It was in this location that a peculiar fossil was unearthed in the early 1970s, capturing the imagination of paleontologists worldwide. This creature was named Longisquama insignis, derived from the Latin words for long scales, 
a fitting name for a reptile adorned with long feather-like structures protruding from its back. At first glance, Longusquama might seem like a creature out of a fantasy novel. Its most striking feature, the elongated structures on its back, has been a subject of debate among experts. Were these structures primitive feathers? Or were they something entirely different, perhaps related to display or temperature regulation? The significance of Longusquama in the scientific community lies in its potential link to the evolution of birds. If those structures were indeed primitive feathers, it could suggest an evolutionary pathway different from the widely accepted theory that birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. However, the evidence is far from conclusive, and many researchers believe that these structures are not related to feathers at all. What's more, the fossil record of Longus Guama is limited. Our few specimens are not perfectly preserved, leaving many questions unanswered. This scarcity has made it challenging to draw definitive conclusions about its anatomy, lifestyle, and evolutionary significance. Number 4. Beringer's Lying Stones In the early 18th century, the city of Würzburg, Germany fell victim to one of the most infamous hoaxes in scientific history. Dr. Johann Bartholomew Adam Beringer, a prominent figure and the dean of the University of Würzburg's Faculty of Medicine, found himself the center of this hoax. Beringer began to unearth a series of peculiar stones on Mount Ebelstadt. These weren't just any stones. They bore engravings of spiders, frogs, birds, and even Hebrew letters. Beringer was convinced he had stumbled upon fossils that were evidence of the biblical creation story. He believed these stones were formed by the intense rays of the sun acting on the earth, imprinting these images as a testament to God's creations. As Beringer's collection grew, so did his pride and ambition. He published a book detailing his findings, confident in the divine origin of his fossils. However, the truth was far from divine, or at least, that's the general consensus nowadays. Many believe that the stones were fake and part of a hoax. Number 3. Altamura Man Nestled in the southern region of Italy, the Lama Lunga Cave near Altamura became the spotlight of paleoanthropology in the early 1990s. Within its depths, explorers stumbled upon a skeletal figure encrusted in calcite formations, seemingly fused to the cave walls. This was the Altamura Man. What makes the Altamura Man so captivating isn't just its age, estimated to be around 130,000 to 170,000 years old, but the peculiar circumstances of its preservation. The skeleton is almost enveloped by the cave itself, with stalactites and stalagmites growing around and through the bones. This unique state of preservation has made it both a treasure trove of information and a challenging puzzle for researchers. The Altamura Man is believed to belong to the species Homo neanderthalensis, providing valuable insights into Neanderthal morphology and evolution. The skeletal remains exhibit transitional features between earlier human ancestors and Neanderthals, making it a significant find in understanding human evolution in Europe. However, the very factor that makes the Altamura Man so fascinating is also what makes it bizarre and challenging to study. The calcite encrustation has protected the remains, but also made them difficult to access without causing damage. For years, the skeleton remains largely untouched, with only limited studies conducted. It wasn't until recent technological advancements that researchers could extract a bone sample, leading to successful DNA sequencing. This achievement confirmed the specimen's Neanderthal lineage and opened the door for further studies. Number 2. Domenici Skulls Domenici is a small town in Georgia, and it became a significant location after this particular discovery. In the 1990s and early 2000s, this site yielded a series of remarkable finds, five hominid skulls, each shedding information about the history of mankind. Now here's where it gets interesting. These skulls are a bit of a mishmash. They've got features from a couple of different early human species. It's like nature's own version of mix and match. This has led some scientists to think that maybe, just maybe, instead of a bunch of different human species wandering out of Africa back in the day, it was just one group with a lot of variety among them. It's kind of like how people today look different from each other, but we're all still humans. And it wasn't just about the skulls. The area around them was like a crime scene, littered with tools and animal bones. It paints a picture of a time when our ancient relatives had to share their neighborhood with some pretty big and wild animals. One of the coolest things about these skulls? One of them belonged to an old-timer who had lost almost all their teeth. This might mean that others in their group helped them giving us a glimpse into how they might have cared for each other. It's heartwarming to think that even back then,
people had each other's backs. And now it's time for today's topic. This is one of the most impossible fossils that could completely rewrite human history. Recently, online forums have been busy discussing a bizarre fossil discovery, a man's footprint. Some say this footprint could push back the timeline of human history by over 100,000 years. Mind-blowing, right? Well, if this discovery is indeed true, that is. What's more, this footprint is allegedly larger than any of the footprints that could have been created by the known human ancestors we've discovered so far. There are a ton of questions. How did it get preserved for so long? Why aren't there more footprints or other evidence of these alleged giants? And of course, the big one. Is it even real? Until we learn more about this discovery, perhaps we'll continue to search for more evidence to support it. But I want to hear about your thoughts. What do you think? Do you believe this footprint could be the missing link in the history of mankind? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Number 1. The Descendant of the Cheddar Man Alright, so first things first. The Cheddar Man isn't made of cheese. He's actually the oldest complete human skeleton found in Britain, dating back about 10,000 years. Discovered in 1903 in Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, so now the name of this fossil makes more sense, don't you think? But I digress. You see, the Cheddar Man has given us a ton of insights into the Mesolithic period. Now here's where it gets interesting. You'd think someone from 10,000 years ago wouldn't have any relatives around today, right? Wrong. Scientists did some DNA magic and found a living relative of the Cheddar Man. And guess where he was? Living just a stone's throw away in Cheddar Village. This modern relative, a history teacher named Adrian Target was as shocked as anyone. Imagine finding out your families lived in the same neighborhood for 10,000 years. But back to the Cheddar Man. Recent DNA analysis has also given us a surprising look at his appearance. Contrary to early beliefs, he likely had dark to black skin, blue eyes, and curly hair. It's a reminder of how a population's look can change significantly over time and challenge some of our preconceived notions about ancient Europeans. Who would have thought that a prehistoric ancestor had a close descendant to this day? I guess we're not too far off from our predecessors. Which of these remains intrigued you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like, write down what you want to see next in our videos. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.